Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is, your time zone across the world. I wanted to take time to end the year and speak to our young people and our young adults, uh, the VIPs, uh, God's value individuals invested with purpose, God's value individuals invested with purpose. I just want to take time to remind you, never say, I will not be able to because, or I can't because. And I want to reference back to, uh, in August, the worldwide intercession that came forth for our youth and young adults. And I spoke a prophetic word, which the Lord gave to me for the young people. And it was a call to a call for SOS call for our young people, a revival that came forth. And I spoke on staying strong in Jesus to finish strong. And at the end of the message that the Lord gave to me, I began to say, never say, uh, I will not be able to. And I reference Rahab, 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 the harlot that changed uh, the course of her life and her family's life, the generation. And she is left on record. And I want you to pursue change and take faith and courage. The faith and courage uh, that Rahab had, that she wanted to save her whole generation. And uh, I said, I don't have time in the the. Uh, the message to deal with all this theology because I begin to reference uh, some of what happened with Rahab. I want to go back and deal with some of that theology and the genealogy of Jesus Christ. And I want you to be able, young people, to go back and um, to read the scriptures for yourself so you can see the gene- genealogy of Jesus Christ and how uh, that Rahab is mentioned uh, within that context. And it's 14 generations, 14 generations, three times. Then Jesus Christ comes forth. And then I'm going to break that down to you in mathematical um, uh, language, what that represents. So never say, I will not be able to, or I can't, when you want change to come, because you can. You just have to be a willing vessel uh, to pursue that change and take faith and courage. I want to read, um, and you can write this down, Matthew uh, chapter 1, verse 1 through 17 deals with the gene, uh, the genealogy of Jesus, which everything else, all theology is taught from the genealogy of Jesus. And so I want to, uh, just read verses one through six, and then I'm going to read, uh, verse 17. And, and in the scripture context, I reference Ruth 4 and 21, and I'm going to attach the SOS Youth Prayer Revival from August the 5th. So you can go back and listen to it yourself. Sometimes you have to go back and listen to messages because it's when you're right at the point of great deliverance that the enemy comes to try to stop and to discourage you. And so reading from Matthew Um, Chapter 1, verse 1 through 6. And let's have a listening ear. Listen to hear what the voice of the Lord is saying. 
the book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham begot Isaac, Isaac begot Jacob, and Jacob begot Judah and his brothers. Judah begot Perez and Ezra by Tamra, and Perez begot Hezron, and Hezron begot Ram. Ram begot Amadiah, and Amadiah begot Nashon, and Nashon begot Salmon. Salmon begot Boaz by Ruth. Boaz by Ruth, uh, Boaz um, begot Obadiah by Ruth, and Obadiah begot Jesse. And Jesse begot David the king. David the king begot Solomon by her who had been the wife of Ura. So you can reference in the lineage of Jesus Christ in verse 5 speaks of Salem Salmon begot Boaz by Rahab. And Boaz begot Obadiah by Ruth, and Obadiah begot Jesse. This is the same Rahab who took courage in Joshua. That was an harlot, which means she had the prostitute to make a living for her and her family. It is not something that she wanted to do. It's something that she was forced to do. But Rahab was very intelligent. And from Rahab's courage, her faith and courage, when the Spirit of the Lord moved up on her, she changed the whole course, the whole generation, her whole generation, and the generation of many others. That she, her direct, is in the direct genealogy of Jesus Christ. She is in the direct genealogy of Jesus Christ. Chapter, uh, uh, chapter 1 and verse 17. So all the generations from Abraham to David, or 14 generations... From David unto the captivity of Babylon or 14 generations. And from the captivity in Babylon until the Christ to Jesus Christ are 14 generations. Let's break this down in a mathematical way. A generation can represent anywhere from 15 to 30 years. Or 20 to 30 years is a generation within a collective period. So 14 generations equates to 1,058 years. So 14 generations equates to 1,058 years. Within 14 generations is 10.58 centuries. So when there is three consecutive, there's three consecutive generations, 14 generations that speaks. My God, before Jesus Christ come forth. But there you will find Rahab. Who changed her whole course. Everything changed. Because of her courage. Her faith and courage. To pursue change. So never say. I will not be able to. Because 
of my situation. Because what I'm in now, Rahab, she seemed beyond what she was in. She had vision of a greater future for herself and her family. Rahab. So we're, th- we're speaking of 4,000 years, if we put it all together, about 4,000 years and 58 days, somewhere around there, of all three generations. Think about that when you say, never I will be able to remember Rahab. Remember the genealogy of Jesus Christ because all theology comes from the genealogy of Jesus Christ. So I came back to deal with the theology, which is the doctrine of Jesus Christ, the word about Jesus, and what happened in the periods leading up to Jesus Christ. Everything points to Jesus. So how do you stay strong in Jesus to finish strong? It's don't lose hope in change. Don't lose hope in change for yourself, for your family, and for generations. One person, Rahab, changed her whole generation that she is in the genealogy. Directly linked to Jesus Christ. This is... uh, Evangelist Cynthia Kelly, Sister Kelly to the young people. I just wanted to leave that with you. Remember, you are a valued individual invested with purpose. That's what the Lord spoke in August. Do not lose sight what God, what the status that Jesus Christ gave to you. And work it, work it like Rahab did and take courage and pursue change. You'll be blessed uh, ending 2021. Be safe and take the courage and faith to pursue change.